And does Boy Band go? What? What is this title? Who came up with that kind of title? Heat seeking warhead. We've been hit. Sensing Coriolis deviation across orbital ring. What? Reading shift to west by northwest, magnitude comma two. Correcting tower balance. Releasing anchor bolt 127 through 214. Why does this remind me of Xenoblade ending? With Klaus. Holy shit, the crucifix again. Wait. Echelon siren losses now exceed 60%. Oh my god, I thought that was Zamza for a second there. Director, the beanstalk cannot hold. The Saviorite rebels are very close to capturing it. We have no choice. Initialize Ion. Oh, this is Ion? Prepare the conduit. Roger. Director, the conduit's authorization has failed. How come? We're locked out by Professor Klaus. <gasps> we can't secure access from outside. What did you say? Ah! Klaus? Klaus? Trinity processes sync rate at 96%. Should be good enough. Let's begin the experiment. Professor, no! The results have not been confirmed. It's too dangerous. Ridiculous. That's me It's enough. perfectly safe. We are about to bear witness to the birth of a universe. <laughs> Once, only a god could perform such a miracle. But today. Mankind moves one step closer to the divine. Are you serious? Do you even fully understand that thing? What's the alternative? Do you want to just surrender this place to them? The conduit is a gift from some divine entity. It is a gateway. A gateway that will take us to an entirely new world. You're delusional. Divine entity? The conduit is nothing more than a meta-universe manifold. Galea, we humans are fools. We've ravaged the planet. We are on the verge of burning even the skies above. But the conduit could transform us into something so much more. <laughs> Galea, this is the birth of a brand new universe. Stop, Klaus! And he destroys it. You damn fool. Holy shit. So indeed, this is connected to the previous game somehow. But it's just a standalone story. My god. Let's see a Takahashi. Fools, indeed. He's a fucking genius. Who is this though? The time has come. Who the heck? Who was that? Wait, we're at the final chapter. We still get a tutorial. I want to ask you guys, what happens if I move forward? Is this like a point of no return? I can return? Okay, let's go straight. There's a cutscene though. This is it. Oh my god, this reminds me of the last chapter of Xenoblade when we landed on Saturn. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> it stopped moving. Perhaps we've arrived at the end point. It's echoing. If we go outside, we find out. Good point. Let's have a look. This world tree does not look like a world tree. Look up. The stars you fucking kidding me. To touch. Are you fucking the kidding me? Is quite something too. Look at the cloud sea all the way down there. 
So this is the top of the world tree. Oh, that sound. There's a Xenoblade one all over again. It's Elysium. Oh yeah, the bell. This way, let's check it out. If that's the architect, I'ma shit my pants. It's been a while, father. It is him. Logos. Logos? Is that my real name? What's it mean? Logos. So many logos. Well, more than one logo. <laughs> All it represents is the ego of those who named you. How many years has it been? I forget. It has been far too long. You know why I'm here, don't you? I know it all. All that you experience is passed on to me here. Then, let's get straight to the point. What? No need to rush, my child. I'm fading. I'll be gone soon enough. Is that right? Then I'll take it all. Do as you wish. If you believe that is your role. <laughs> is that choice really mine? Answer me. This is what I came to hear. It is a choice you made together. Good answer. Thanks for creating me. Ah. Uh, and here comes the other answer. I'm confused. There are no enemies here. So this is where Klaus was. Oh, probably I'm gonna go here. But how though? Can this open? Oh, what the hell? <laughs> I thought it was a dead end. Never trust a straight road like this. <laughs> That was loud. It sure is bright. Yeah, it's right through here. I'm sure of it. We've almost reached Elysium. What? What is this place? No. Uh, can this place really be Elysium? Where's the greenery? The it's water? It's a dead Bird land. Song. There's nothing. Nothing here at all. What a wretched sight. I have not seen anything like this in all my years on Orrest. Pyra. I don't understand. I don't get it. This... This is not how I remember. The bell is still... That bell sound must be coming from somewhere. Is someone here? Hmm. Over there. Poppy detect one big thing, kind of like building, over that direction. Sound seem like it come from there. Let's go, Rex. All right. It might still be okay. Maybe it's just this bit that's destroyed. There's bound to be something over that way. That is so weird. Like back there is a control room and then the back of that room is like a huge city like this? What? This game oh. is bizarre in a good way though, in a cool way. Wow. And there are no enemies. How convenient. How far are we till the end of the game, though? I have a feeling that we will be able to finish the game soon. I mean, we've already reached our final destination, though. Elysium. This place looks like it was once a city, and quite an old one at that. It's actually a lot like the stuff we saw in Moritha. Way more dusty, though. Maybe because it's so dry up here. Huh? Hey, there's a, that's a bike. 
It is a bike. Shh. Huh? It seems to have been a child's vehicle. It's a bicycle. So that means people lived here once. You could fit the entire population of all rest into this place and with room to spare. Oh, the music. Oh, playground. Shut up. Who destroyed this place like this, though? Was it the architect? What have we here? Oh. Is that it? Is it a church? The bells have stopped. Oh my god. No, 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 no. This is spooky. A signal we should enter, perhaps? We probably should. Why does this feel like a horror game now? Welcome home, my children. Who's there? Father? The architect is here, but where? I am always here. Come to me. This is spooky! Please look! Over there is staircase. It seems to lead to a lower level. Hmm. Guess we have to. And the design of the staircase doesn't match with the church. <laughs> this is very futuristic, my darling. Cardio time. Oh my god. What? Why does this remind me of Alchemoth? If this turns out to be Alchemoth, I'm a scream. The building's holding up well inside. Quality of structural materials much better than in city outside. This made of same substance as World Tree itself. Same as the World Tree. Uh, why? Uh, huh? Hey, where is everyone? Pyra, Gramps, Pyra, Mithra. This game is really something else, you gotta say. What is that? The Ardanian Imperial Army. Their equipment looks ancient. Like it's come from the past. What is up with this place? See, it's a horror game now. How did we end up being there, though? How did that even happen? Ah, <sighs> Tetsuya Takahashi, you're a strange human being. But you're so cool. Wait, this is Gormod. Yeah. Nia! Jomark! I'm so glad you... Why, Rex? Huh? Why, what? You told us Elysium was real. My lady and I traveled all this way at your behest. Master Rex, did you intentionally deceive us? I trusted you, you know. I came here because I trusted you. N Nia, Dromark, what are you talking about? How do you explain this? Y you've got it wrong. I told you. I promised Pyra to... Pyra. Oh, right. Pyra. Pyra. Pyra, Pyra, Pyra. Is that it? You've only got eyes for her. Get your head out of your ass. N nee, you're being weird. What is going on? My lady has given up everything for you. Yet still, you realize nothing. Even now, you cannot see. Hey, what is going on? Beware an attack. And I don't have any Be potion. I'm gonna die. Don't die. Am I supposed to die or not? I oh, I, I was yet. not supposed to die. <laughs> Do not give up. <laughs> we almost had her though. Oh, he, she healed. 
Nice. Hi, Nia. Uh, I'm sorry. Answer me, Rex. Why did you lie to us? How could you betray our trust? Uh, uh... What? Uh... Why did he run away, though? Oh, don't tell me. Now we gotta fight Morag. Why would Nia? Because this is Moradine. You really are a mm. fool. I called it. Morag? Bridget? Huh? Moradine? You're so thoughtless. Let me guess. After this, we're gonna be Morag. in Tantal. Here you are, wasting time. And all the while, my countrymen are... Do you have any idea what you've done? You just run ahead without a thought for anyone else, and this is the result! Ah! Oh, we didn't fight her. Ah! Ugh. How could he survive that fall? Oh my god. I, I spoke too soon. Anyone. If only we hadn't come here. I could have saved my people. I could have saved Niall. If only it weren't for you, Rex! But me? I didn't mean to... But Niall's still I alive. you're happy now. You've dragged us to some empty ruins. Well, we can always go back. I hope that was worth everything we sacrificed. 70! Oh my goodness, I should have not leveled up all my characters. Oh, I'm so gonna die. Fuck me. Gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. How the fuck do I beat Morak? My Morak is one of the most powerful characters. I don't have a potion. I don't have any healing arts. Fuck, I missed. Fuck, 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 I'm gonna die. Focus! Why here? What? I'm all... a juice. <laughs> How the fuck do I beat this bitch? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Flesh wound. I don't know how I did that though. Please, stop this. What's the use in fighting amongst ourselves now? What's the use? Thank you. For vengeance. What more reason do I need? What? That's right. We must take our vengeance. For the thousands of lives you have stolen! I killed! What? No, no way! I didn't! I'll have your life for an apology, Rex! <laughs> Stop right there! How dare you run! What is happening here? What is this place? What's wrong with everyone? Why Rex Rex run? Oh no. Tora! Puppy, Zeke and Pandoria. Don't tell me you're all. You having fun, chum? Playing the hero like the kid you are, stringing us adults along. That, that, that's not... Rex Rex's bad friend. Why Rex Rex become driver when Tora cannot become driver? Tora tries so hard, and for what? It's useless! Master Pawn is right. Rex just have a little luck and become driver of Aegis? Poppy never asked to be born as imitation. Poppy want to be real too. Not fair! <laughs> I bet it felt real good, didn't it? Getting special treatment from everyone, getting chosen by the Aegis, who decided you should have all that power? How about you hand it over to the prince right now? He deserves it. Stop it already. I did nothing wrong to any of you. So you haven't worked that out either. In your hurry to get here, you never stopped to consider 
All the things you left lying in your way. We gotta fight them both all at once? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm gonna die, bitch. Oh, shut up. Oh, well, Rock is amazing. Tutora, Poppy. No, I never wanted this. Zeke, Pandoria. What are you doing, Rex? Gramps? No way. We're at Gramps back. Gramps. We're on Gramps back. This place. Oh. This takes me back to the beginning of the game. What is the point? Well, huh, Gramps. What is the point of us, really? We are born as blades, then return to our slumber, again and again, over countless years. Until we become titans, to wander this world for countless more. And at the end of it all, we sink into nothingness. Have you ever thought about it? What it means to exist for close to an eternity with no clear purpose or goal? Must be nice to be human. Living for a limited time, thinking limited thoughts. It must be so much easier. We have to pay taxes. What would you do if you were me? Would you be happy to drift around the ocean with a human on your back? Is that all I am to be? Oh, this game is so mean. I, I don't know how I'm supposed to answer that. Why are you asking me? You're being strange. Everyone's acting so strange. On set. Welcome back. You're late, Rex. Where did you wander off to? Pyra. Mithra. Come on. Let's go ahead and eat. I've cooked up a whole bunch of your favorites. I hope you've got room. Well, eat up. Which kind of bread do you want? Oh, uh, um, maybe this and this. There you go. Hey, do you want some wine? I need wine. Oops, <laughs> you're too young. Silly me. Mithra? Has something happened? What do you mean? It's just you're a lot nicer than normal. Stop it. I'm always nice to you, aren't I? If, if you say so. Hey, Rex, come on. How can you sit down to eat without washing your hands first? That's a faux pas. But you told Don't me to sit down. Wash what your the? hands right now. <laughs> I, um, sorry. You're acting almost like Mithra today, Pyra. Huh? Oh my god, what is this? Did you scrub this? them properly? Yeah. They're clean. Great. Okay then. Let's eat. Thanks for the food. Um... It looks really good. Oh, they're having a steak. Tastes even better. Of course it does. 
After all, I made it myself. Maybe I'll try my hand next time. Mithra, no. You know how that always ends. But carbon's good for you. Anyway, I want to do something nice for Rex, too. No cooking. Who's going to save the world if Rex gets the runs? You're so mean. It was only that one time. Um, it's okay, you two. I don't care who cooks. I'm just happy with... I'm happy with... Oh. <laughs> Rex. It's so strange. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing here anymore. Everyone's all wrong. They all said I... But now you two... Did I go wrong somewhere? Oh my god. I think... that's enough. Please, father. What? That was some kind of a test? You guys. Rex. Why are we all here? I thought I was... I merely wished to examine the shapes of your hearts. That voice. Your... My name is Klaus. The architect of this world. I have watched over you all this time. I have seen your thoughts, your desires, the things you have achieved. So you did that just now? Yes. Those were not your present forms, but alternate possibilities. Your other selves that lie within. That is what I wanted to see. You mean we're all thinking stuff like that, deep down? Was that how we really feel? Those were the fears you harbor. What was your purpose in showing us this? Those were not pleasant visions to behold. My only purpose was to find out how mankind has changed. And where it is headed. And were you disappointed? No. As you stand before me right now, that is who you are. Architect, sir. I came here because I met Pyra. Is this really Elysium? I will show you everything. Memories. Mine and those of this planet. This world was once the stage of a struggle for survival that dwarfed this current predicament. The world was an unseemly place, though glimpses of beauty persisted. What should people live for? Who should they live for? They live for themselves. To harbor desires and struggle to realize them. That is the natural state of man. But I did not think that was good enough. I lost hope for mankind. And one day I found it. The conduit. Why it chose to appear before us, I do not know. However, its existence presented a new possibility. Possibility? Our world was not the only one. 
Endless universes coexist, side by side, oh. yet all completely unaware of one another. My god. The conduit was our link to these foreign worlds, and I opened that forbidden gateway, praying that it would change the world. I need someone to slap me in the face right now. You have seen the plane called Moritha, have you not? That is what remains of my world. When I opened the conduit, many people and many things disappeared into distant dimensions. All that remained here were the ruins of Moritha and half of my body. Your body? Half of me lives on in some other dimension. But not for much longer. The moment of my other self's demise draws near. Ooh. Because of my foolishness, I lost everything. Is he talking about Sansa? Left here, alone and broken, I longed for oblivion, but even that eluded me. This is my punishment. Retribution from on high for the sin I have committed. There was only one thing I could do. I had to atone for my sin. I swore to restore this world. The first thing I created was a special particulate substance with the ability to restore deteriorated matter. You all know it as the Cloud Sea. The Cloud Sea can disassemble matter it comes in contact with and rebuild it in the image of all the things that once made up this world. This way, little by little, I could rebuild the world I had brought to ruin. Next, I began to recreate life. I gathered miniature vessels containing memories of all this planet's former life forms. And I scattered them across the Cloud Sea. These are the core crystals. The crystals bonded with the Cloud Sea's particulate reconstructors and formed the nuclei of new life. Those nuclei developed into minute life forms, the Titans, who would, over time, grow larger and larger. Finally, the Titans gave birth to the core crystal to complex organisms based on the data in their core crystals. This newly birthed life over untold millennia Blade. evolved into a new breed of mankind. But I did not trust this world, born as it had been. What if it were to repeat our mistakes? What if someone like me appeared? To stave off these doubts, I implemented one final measure. And so the blades were born. <sighs> Ontos, Logos, and Numa. The three cores of the Trinity processor formed their cornerstone. Who is Ontos? However, Ontos triggered a space-time transition event and disappeared forever. I was left with the other two, Logos and Numa, entrusting them with managing the blades. Malos and Pyra. Those are the names that you now know them under. So... I am... Numa? The core crystals at the heart of each blade are tasked with relaying all kinds of information to Logos and Numa. 
about the selection pressures of the outside world and the biological status of their bonded human, but also the experiences and emotions they share. As the data continually accrues, new evolutionary code is sent back to the core crystals. And this code is used to create new, further evolved blades. My God, it's These been blades done. too become titans in time. Ah. And create new generations so of So it's like forms. evolution of blades. This was the new circle of life I had created. So, we're all born from this endless cycle of life to replace the victims of the previous world. That's right. But there were also a handful of survivors. I believe you saw them when you were in Moritha. The unfortunate ones who clung to life. Oh, the disgusting ones. <laughs> You mean those monsters? Were they originally people? Core crystals were first conceived as a replacement for human brain cells. What? A product of mankind's age-old quest for immortality. And that's what became of them. How awful. But that technology became the starting point for the creation of blades and titans. So tell us, in the end, did we develop as you had hoped? Well, those phantasms which you all experienced earlier, those are feelings that lurk in all of your hearts, as well as that man, Amalphasus. <laughs> all of you. You are not in any way different from us before. Huh. 500 years ago, when the man finally arrived here, I did nothing when he took away Logos and Numa. I stood and watched as Logos, instantiated into blade form, set out to purge the world. You don't make sense. Didn't you go to all that trouble to rebuild it? Then why would you... It is fate. Fate? It is fated to happen. It cannot but happen. My atonement was doomed from the start. I had made my peace with it. Once more, I longed for nothing more than to disappear. However, something has now changed. And that is you, Rex. You and Numa. Me and Pyra and Mithra. You reforged your bond in a way I had not thought possible. And the life you share. Moreover, the conduit which fell into a stubborn silence after the world's end, has begun stirring once more. The power you and Numa exercise is the conduit's power. It comes leaking out of some far-flung dimension, and it is a power we can know nothing about. But with its help, the world may be about to change. What's all this shaking? It is Logos. Uh oh. Malos. Malos. Trying to destroy this world and everything in it. What? Remember, at heart, he is but an information processing unit. Neither good nor evil. He is driven by a certain impulse. It's also because of the, the traitor. That the man named Amalthus felt. Yeah. I see. Rex. What is it you desire? What else? To stop Malos. And if you succeed? I'll punch him in his stupid face, and then... Probably get a drink with him or something. What? 
That's the sixth rule of the salvager's code. Ah. First have a punch out, then drink to forget. Once you've forgotten, the friendship's all set. I'm not old enough to drink yet, though. I see. Numa. No, I should call you Pyra and Mithra. What is it? I want to apologize for having burdened you with all this. Don't worry. We're actually grateful. Thanks to you, Father, we got to meet Rex and everyone else. Those are cherished memories. Father. I have transferred all of Elysium's data and authorizations to you. Make me proud. We will. Rex. Yes. I will disappear soon. When I do, the conduit will likely disappear from this world. You will not be able to use your power forever. I understand. We'll make do somehow. I'm counting on you. Close. changed your mind about this world? Right now, I think I am glad I met you. Got it. Then, our answers match. Thank you for giving us all life. Malos. If he is here, I know where he must have gone. Where is it? Tell us. The greatest of all artifices. The artifice that exists Ion. solely to destroy the world. Ion. Ion. I called it. Ion. So that's what Malos meant. Ah, that's where. Then, that's where we'll go. During the end of chapter seven, Mithra and Pyra was in front of Ion. Ah, it's Mass Effect. Welcome to Mass Effect Chronicles Two. <laughs> this is my theory. Um, where do I begin? Okay, you know Klaus said that Zanza who is like um, the other half of him, exists in the other universe, which is in the Shulk's universe. Xenoblade 2 and Xenoblade 1, they both take place in a different universe, but the events that are happening, they're happening at the almost the exact same time because Klaus said that he's going to disappear. So I believe that he will disappear when Shulk defeats Zanza in his universe. And also, Zanza was like the evil god, and Klaus is like the god that's trying to atone his mistakes. Because of the conduit, he um, destroyed his land, his birth land, land of Martha. He covered his mistakes with the cloud, the sea clouds, and tried to generate a new life form with titans. Yeah, that's my theory. You gotta give me that. <laughs> give me some credit. So apparently. Y'all want me to do this specific quest, and you told me to go to Lefteria. Oh, Poppy and Tora? Hey, Poppy? Yes? It's I Poppy Cutie. I was just thinking how curious it is. Even though you look completely different, you're still the same Poppy. 
perhaps friends could call Poppy by her model name? Oh, very good idea! What do you mean by model name? Well, Poppy's smallest mode actually has name Poppy Alpha. Poppy's an alpha female. And this form called Poppy Quixotic Tutelar. Yes, in fact, Tora works secretly on even more improved mode for Poppy. What? When that finished, must differentiate between whole three different modes. Wait, we got another version for Poppy? What's Poppy's third mode like? I want to know. That excellent question. It's called Quantum Techno Champion Pie. Hey, Dadapon. You feeling okay? Your fluff look roughly. Huh? Oh, it Tora. Me not too bad. Tum Tum is quiet. Tora was thinking, it about time Poppy got even more Poppy power. What? Tora think that too? So, what was Dadapon's idea? Tell Tora! It still the same design though. Behold! Poppy's most super duper mode! That's huge! Wh what's this? This mode called Super Fighter Mode! This poppy size of ten roses! What? More battle power than Titan Warship! Dadapon just take old poppy blueprint and enlarge! <laughs> Dadapon thinking just like Banner! Well, how about this? Oh, he's got another one. What? He's not huh? creative at all. Oh. It's too small for Tora's eyesight. Well, let's hear Tora's silly idea then. Really want to hear? The really? audacity. Assuming it's a silly All idea. All right. Tora suppose can share secret. Tora's big idea called Poppy Cutie Pie. Cutie Pie? Cutie Pie? <laughs> this Poppy become great big grown-up. Poppy should move to next phase of life. Tora's unruly, lovable enthusiasm shine through very bright. Very well. Dadapon will get right to it. Lila, ready my things. Internal pressure remain stable. We're going to witness... Dadapon, crank up voltage a bit further. We're going to witness Tora, a little girl blossom into a grown-up woman. We not cross the line, but we step on it. Lila, hit switch. Roger, Master Pon. Okay, Poppy. Wakey, wakey! The lights went out the first time we started Poppy up too. Remember? Isn't it taking a bit long, though? Ah, oh, yeah. Whoa. What is it? Was <coughs> that a lightning bolt or something? Everyone okay? I'm okay. But what about Poppy? How's she doing? I can see that she's taller now. Oh my god. No wonder you guys love her. Look, glorious birth of Poppy Cutie Pie! She looks pretty so, though. She's pretty. This is the new Poppy? Poppy's an adult now. Talk about a growth spirit. What's up, Mia? Jealous much? <laughs> Shut it, Zeke. Unless you want me to remodel your face. Come, Poppy! Give us demonstration of new power! Roger, Roger, Master Pawn. What? P Poppy! Master Pawn has own legs! Master Pawn have very short legs. Much more efficient like this when Master Pawn travels with Poppy. <laughs> this is very silly! And big disrespect to your Master Pawn! <laughs> you look like. Poppy's little teddy bear there, Tora. <laughs> Tora is not little teddy bear! Put Tora down, Poppy! Right now! 
pay is not so bad. At least you don't have to walk. Tora does not like. Oh, he's shy. He's blushing. <laughs> Also, she's really OP. Okay, fine. I hope that I won't be having a hard time fighting on the final boss. Okay, um, Kingdom of Oraya. What do you want me to do here? I'm so curious. Monster Pawn, is something wrong? Oh, what's that? Why does it look like a Nopon Arc Sage in Xenoblade 1? Are we gonna fight something? Where are we going? What is this place? Me? Yeah. This... may not even be all rest. Well, we'd better be on our guard. <gasps> ah! Ah! What? <laughs> Where are we? This place? Shulk, maybe we should come back. <laughs> we don't even have our weapons. Hmm. Monado. And my weapons too. I don't know what's going on, but I feel a little safer now. Hmm. It's not the Bionis, but it's not the Maconis either. <laughs> We're in unknown territory for sure. How? Hey, Shulk, someone's over there. Huh? Should we talk to them? They look different, though. Looks like we've got a problem. Oh my god, are they going to be like playable characters? It's good to help each other out. Tell us what's wrong. We popped up in this weird place. That's what's wrong. We all came here unwillingly. I guess we are in the same predicament. So you don't know what's going on either. Hmm. That's right. Well, why don't we team up? We can check this place out together. Team up? Sounds good. Actually, I was about to say that myself. My name's Rex. And I'm Pyra. Call me Nia. Old fear bag here is Dromak. <laughs> Rude. Dora is Dora. Please call Poppy Poppy. <laughs> You're Zeke and Morik did introduce themselves. I'm Shulk. And I'm Fiora. <laughs> Good to meet you. <laughs> ah, likewise. <laughs> Oh my god, if Xenoblade 3 is gonna be like this, then I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm gonna scream. Have you guys been here before? No, never. Fiora and I were just walking when suddenly we saw this off light turn out to be a portal. So the portal that came through is over there somewhere, uh-huh. Came through a different one then? That's why it's just over there. Oh, it's gone. So what's the point? We can only meet them here. E, it's not an arc sage! So it's the same as Xenoblade 1. This place was filled with challenges. Some of our weapons that will, I guess that would make us like your world's plates. What? <gasps> there are blades? Oh, they're gonna wait for us. Such loyal blades. <laughs> Look at Poppy. <laughs> She's a grown up. I'm not used to this. I can bring them here. But, I mean, I've already seen the cutscene though. That one was, uh, shocking. Can we listen to the music first? Ah, the music. So good. There we are. We're in the architect room. I don't know if I'm going the right way. What the hell? Why am I going up? It's here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no, I'm scared. Here we go. We're going down. Dad what is this? Hey, Elysium! Here before. What the hell? Whoa, what? They're attacking all the Titans. Are we close? Wait, let me see the scenery though. We were in space. So we need to go up. Are there any enemies here? 
Hello. Oh, the music is different. <laughs> I like that. Uh oh, is it moving? Is it opening? Oh my God. Oh, this is where we were going. We're at Ion. Malos is a powerful foe. But we can't afford to give up now. Indeed. If we give up hope here, there will be nothing left of all rest. But we're not in this alone. Jin, the Torna guys, and everyone back on all rest are counting on us. We've run into all kinds of trouble on the way, but we've made it this far. This may be the most formidable obstacle yet, but we can surpass it like any other. When friends all together, nothing impossible. Aww. This is it. This is our final battle. <gasps> Let's show him what drivers and blades can do together. Yeah! Oh my god, I can't believe it! This game is going to end soon! This one thing's gonna get sad, huh? I already got my tissues. So whatever it is, just bring it on. Who needs a heart anyway? <laughs> Let's do this. There he is! Malos. Just in time for the final act, boy! I've saved you the best seats in the house. <laughs> I sounded just like Akos for a moment there. Akos is dead, you bastard. So is Petroka. And Jin. Figured as much. Is that all? What? You want me to weep and deliver a eulogy? What good would that do? Well, it's an ass. Malos, is this really what you want? Huh? Is this what you want, Malos? I don't understand the question. You must understand by now that none of this is your own will. You have to see all of this came from a Malthus. Even if that's true, so what? And don't give me some weak ass crap about how I should repent or whatever. Why don't you want to hear the truth? Here's the thing. I don't give a rat's ass what you think, Ooh. rat! So blades become titans, and titans give life to humans. Honestly, who even gives a damn? They can become whatever they want. But that man, he'd lost everything. He no longer wanted anything. He didn't even want to live anymore. And despite that, his life was the one thing he hadn't lost. Because he couldn't! The thought of you forgetting me, it's like one heart is being ripped in two. Words can be a curse. That curse was what kept him tied down here. A wretched tale, isn't it? This whole world is a wretched place. Do not forget that you two are a part of that world. If it were not for you, for Amalthus, both Jin and Laura's lives may have taken quite different paths. Exactly. That's exactly it. You've gotten smarter with age, huh? I'm a wretched being, too. A hideous monster, far beyond saving! So... Let's end this now. Oh my Do god. Do you anything? Father Sadness, the world he longed for. How could I? That isn't... my role in this world. This man... Does he mean to? Oh, jeez. This looks tough. Come at me, kid. Come, my partner. Give me all you've got. You better show me all of it. The extent of your will! Show me why you're here in this world! The voice actor for Malos is great, by the way. He did such a good job. Oh 
we gotta fight that thing? Oh no. This is tough. Oh my god, what are you doing? Wait, what the hell? Holy shit! <laughs> Where did you come from? Ah, topple, 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 topple. Yes! What happened? That's only the first phase, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're not burning anyone today. Oh no, not this song. My lady. Zumak. Don't trouble yourself. It's nothing. Choreography in this game is so good. Never gonna change if that's all you got. Oh, my God, that's Nile. Destroying all the Alrest. It will change. I will change it. That's the reason we've come all this way. Just let it go! Who do you think you're doing this for? I'm doing it for myself. If it helps put smiles on people's faces, helps them live their lives together, then that's my role in this world! Jin told me to take care of you. In his place, you know. She never wanted to die. He just wanted to connect with you. He did it because you showed him a path. And how many people died because of it? You'd forgive him just like that? Forgiving isn't that easy, but that's just the world we live in. We need to find a way forward within that world. Even you used to think like that. What? I gotta search for me. I wish that I find myself. Today, we use our power to fell a god and then seize our destiny. Wait, what the hell? Wasn't that Shulk? Or wasn't that Zanza talking? It was so great! See? My theory was right! It's happening at the exact same time! This oh my god. How many faces are there in this game? In this fight, I mean. Yes! I can't see! God damn it! Woo! No! Oh my god. Yes! Topple! Oh. Please let me win this! Yes! Oh, we did it! Here I go! Yeah! Let's get 
get this done so we can move on for the future. Whoa, we really did it, didn't we? Holy hell. Ooh. That was slightly easier than fighting Zanza in Xenoblade 1. That's the conduit! Oh, is he going to disappear? Back Dutch. <laughs> oh, it's broken. It's been fun, kid. Malos. If only I'd met you sooner. <laughs> Just think of the worlds I might have seen. But even so, if. If I had been your driver, all of this... <laughs> Kids say the damnedest things. There was only one driver for me. All... In all, it wasn't... so bad. Malos. I feel bad for everyone. I like every villain. Looks like he's finally found it. Lady Moray. A meaning to his life. Indeed. Frankly, I'm a little jealous. After all, most people go their whole lives without finding theirs. <laughs> I wonder if I'll find mine. You've got one already, haven't you? And if what you've got isn't enough for you, well, you can always leave things to the next generation. <laughs> you've got a point. Surprisingly enough. I thought that Rex was going to die. <sighs> I guess nobody dies. Did I speak too soon? What's happening? Huh? What's going on? That's... what... what's happened? At this rate... All of Elysium will collapse! What? Why? What? Since the conduit disappeared... The power holding Elysium together was cut off! What's gonna happen when it crumbles? Not... Everything above this point will either orbit the planet or be flung into space by centrifugal force. However, everything below this point 
the world tree itself will fall apart on top of all rest. No, that can't. The impact would destroy the whole there, Alrest. There has to be a way to stop it. Pyra, please. <sighs> Pyra. There is one way. Just one way to prevent it. Uh... Five stories down from here, there's a control room for the correction boosters. If we can fire the booster jets and accelerate the whole world tree beyond escape velocity. Look, I haven't got a clue about boosters or velocities, but I'm gathering that we got to get there and fast. Okay, five floors down. Let's hurry. Why does she look so sad, though? What? Azurda. Poppy. Hmm? What? What did you say? P Poppy could not possibly. Please. You're the only ones I can ask. But... Poppy. You promised. Didn't you? That pillow belt. Please. What? <laughs> What's going to happen? You're a real piece of work. She's going to sacrifice herself, isn't she? Oh my god, this area is scary. What is this? That's the escape pod. Ships. Is this a port? <gasps> oh. <sighs> Pyra, what are you doing there? Where's the control room? Pyra! You can't mean... I'm sorry. This was the first lie I ever told you. Pyra! The only way to stop the World Tree's collapse is to use the last of Ion's power and annihilate the World Tree. I'm sorry, it is the only way. You all need to use one of those escape vessels and get as far away as possible. What? The last of Ions. Pyra, what are you doing? It'll, it'll be fine, right? You'll deal with the world tree, then come back, right? <sighs> wait, just wait, I'll come with you. Damn it, there's not enough wire. I got it. Poppy? Poppy? It's not okay. Huh. Poppy cannot. 
What do you mean you can't? Poppy made promise. Pyra say that Rex for sure ask Poppy. Say not help Rex, no matter what. What kind of promise is that? Please, I'm begging you. All you gotta do is take me over there. The rest of you can just... Rex. Come on. Please. She's right there. <laughs> Rex. Gramps. Sometimes a man must know when to let go. Why? Why? Do it for her, Rex. Do as she asks. Gramps! Chum, how long are you planning on being a baby? She's the girl you love. You've got to accept her decision. That's what being an adult means. Rex, I am so thankful that I've met all of you. Crystal. You'll be fine without me now. Fire up. I hope you'll help me.
effects. I'm so glad to have met you. Our time together was short, a fraction of my long, long years. But it's been warmer and brighter than any time I can remember before. Oh no! You shone a light on my melancholy path. You showed me the way. God, I hate this. <laughs> What? Because of Pyra earlier, she touched the his core crystal. <laughs> it's been so long since we last saw his form. You know, I think this form does suit me best. Grumps, we're heading down. Everybody, grab onto something. Gone. What? I can't believe it. Is everyone dead? We were too late. At the land of Martha. Oh, the sea clouds gone. So there's nothing left of the world but ruins. We're crossing that rift! <laughs> Are those the Titans? That. That's Uriah, right? Oh my god! 
it lands on the actual ocean. No more cloud sea. Titans. They're joining with the land. It's true. I think. I see what Klaus meant by restoring the world. We're finally here. <laughs> Don't tell me that was the ending. Oh my god! <laughs> We did it! <laughs> I won't. I never skip credits. Thoughts? I, honest, I honestly thought that it was going to end worse than it was. I thought that all the blades were going to die or, or, in, or something like that. <laughs> but it was still sad though. I did not expect that. But I did expect someone to sacrifice themselves. Just one of them, but I just didn't know who. And uh, voila, it was Pyra and Mithra. Uh, this is a great game. I have only one regret though. I wish that I had played this sooner so I could join the hype when they announced Xenoblade 3. I also didn't realize how much I've gotten attached to all the characters. I love all the characters, there's no one that I dislike. Oh, it was your first JRPG. I grew up playing JRPG, but this is so different than any other JRPGs that I've played. <laughs> I don't want to compare this to Xenoblade 1. If anyone asks me which one do I like better, Xenoblade 1 or 2, I can't really choose because I do believe that. I personally think that both of these games, they complete each other in a way. I believe that Xenoblade 2 um, is so good because of Xenoblade 1 and vice versa. I believe that, I think that Xenoblade 1 feels more special because of Xenoblade 2. Oh, don't do this to me. It takes me back to <laughs> ah, this exact scene. <laughs> the finale of chapter 2. I just love that scene so much. Hey Miyoki, welcome in. <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs> How are you? I 
I'm taking it all in. I'm so sorry. I just can't believe that I'm that I beat this game. <laughs> it was such an amazing experience. And I'm so happy that um that this franchise finally gets its recognition in Game of the Year Award. Thank you, Tetsuya Takahashi. Oh, there's more. What she say? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Everybody say thank you to Monolith Soft. <laughs> God damn it. You did it again, Monolith Soft. You broke my heart again. That was perfect. <laughs> Xenoblade and the title screen, of course. <laughs> I should have known better. <laughs> My eyes hurt so much right now. <laughs> it hurts like crazy. They sting. That was amazing. I did not expect this game would be, you know, would be this good. There is a lot of people said that this game is just, you know, for weep trash. I do understand what they're, where they're coming from, you know, the visual. But if you just look past that, the character arc, the storytelling, it's just so deep. I don't think that I ever cried that much in a game, you know, like I, I've cried at least 10 times or 15 times playing this game. And some of my friends told me if this made me cry, then Xenoblade 3 would definitely destroy me. So I'm scared of Xenoblade 3 and I'm also, and I'm also scared of Torna because I heard that Torna is also very emotional. I got this game like two years ago or three years ago. I finally unsealed this game a month ago. There's just something about Xenoblade 
So whenever like you play it, like after you beat it, like you feel so defeated. <laughs> I feel so defeated now. Like I cannot believe that I finally beat the game because I thought that this was going to be like one of those games where I just dropped it off midway. I don't want to play Tor now because we already know what's going to happen to Jin and Laura anyways. But I want to see Adam. I don't know if they're going to show Adam in Torna. Here's the thing. I mean, like Xenoblade 1 and 2, they have their own stories, but they're connected somehow. But I don't know how Xenoblade 3 is connected with the previous two games. I can't really picture it because both of Xenoblade 1 and Xenoblade 2, both of them got like their happy endings. So I don't know what they're going to tell in Xenoblade 3. Unless if there's like another universe that this game didn't tell us about. So I'm really curious. I'm really curious about Xenoblade 3. I would like to say thank you to all of you who have been following this Xenoblade journey, Xenoblade 2 to be specific. It's been such a blast. I will remember this game for a very long time. This has become one of my all-time favorites as well. And I can't wait to play Torna for y'all.